pray for me, Mama D. I love your prayer. You, you, you know, prayer is more than preaching. Amen. Yes. I'll explain. Amen. Pray for me. So prayer is important. Uh, uh, the utterance. Yes. Brethren, brethren, brethren. Yes. You will hear things today because of your faithfulness to this God. Paul said, you are our rejoicing. We can only go as far as God will take us. And God will only take us as far as he would like you. And your faithfulness to God determines where we go. So when I sit down and look at the things that we have today, I'm made to understand it's part in your fault. Because they that hunger and thirst you after righteousness, after righteousness shall be filled. We don't be church, but I know that your hearts are indicted in a good matter. So let me again greet Mother Dolly and uh, Deacon Wallace as he's been here always for some time. And may God wish you bless you today as we look at Jethro's, Jethro Moses' counselor and father-in-law. I'm going to ask Ella Thompson to scroll down and then our sister Catherine, um, God bless her, she be. Uh, pray for me, brethren, that uh, utterance. There's a lot of things to get through today, but it is for your sake, sister Catherine. Genesis 16 and verse 1. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, bare him no children, and she had an handmaid, an Egyptian whose name was Hagar, verse 15. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael, Genesis 21 and verse 14. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. Now, we're looking at Jethro, Moses' counsellor and father. Yes. But let me lay a foundation. If you're going to build a house, you need to lay the foundation before you put the walls and pillars up. And if you're going to buy a house, you need to sit down first and count the costs of there's a foundation to this message that will give you more understanding when we get into the area where Jethro. Now, Sarah, or Sarah, because her name wasn't changed yet. Abraham's wife, his name wasn't changed yet. Abraham had a wife, and she bore no children. And you all know the story. And she had a handmaid, another word for handmaid was a bond servant, who is an Egyptian. Right. I need you to remember all that because as we go along, you will look more at Ada, the Egyptian. She wasn't English, she wasn't French, she wasn't German, and she wasn't Jamaican, she wasn't Trinidadian, she was an Egyptian. Have we got any Egyptians here? Any Egyptians here? No. But Ada was an Egyptian. Now, it then says in verse 15 of chapter 16, Ada bore Abraham's son and not Agar, not Sarah, Abraham called his son's name, which Agar called Ishmael. And I need you to remember Ishmael as well. Because you'll see why. Yes. Uh, verse, chapter 21, verse 14. There's a lot of things that happened. Sarah got upset because Agar laughed when she was with child. So now Abraham has a wife, as Sarah, 
who did bear but now she has a child who is now Isaac and Sarah told Abraham you need to put her up and God told him hear the voice of your wife and this is what Abraham did yes. and Abraham rose up early in the morning took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Abraham putting it on her shoulder and the child as well Sister Del and I've underlined it he sent her away and she departed and wandered in the wilderness with her young child remember Abraham sent her away so the wife and the bond servant is now in this first part of the lesson and I'm going to talk about Agar and Ishmael shortly but I have something else to tell you that though Agar bore Abraham's son Sarah who got the name changed Sarah like Abraham, Abraham got his name changed Abraham she also bore him son so he's now have two sons for two different months. Scroll down for me, please, brother. This is scary. Genesis 25, verse 12 to 15. Let's look at the side of Ishmael before we look at something else. Now, these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar, the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebajoth, and Kedar, and Adbil, and Mibsam, and Mish, Mishma, and Duma, and Mesa, Hadar, and Tima, Jetur, Napfish, and Kadima, Genesis 25, verse 16. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their towns and by their castles. Twelve princes according to their nations, verse 18. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, that is before Egypt as thou goest towards Assyria. And he died in the presence of all his brethren. Now, how much sons did Ishmael have? Twelve. Twelve. How much sons did Jacob have? Twelve. If you didn't know, <laughs> now you know, yes. that Ishmael had the same amount of sons as Jacob did. The twelve sons of Jacob got his name changed to Israel, formed the nation of Israel, which came out of the twelve sons, what of the twelve tribes of Israel. Out of Ishmael came twelve sons, yes. and out of the twelve sons became what race? Who's from Ishmael? In out of Ishmael came the Muslims. Out of Jacob came Judah and Israel. Now, Adele, if you at the time study, will find that he became. Um, the father of a certain place, does anyone know? Adele. He became the head of the tribe of Saudi Arabia, and out of his loins came Muhammad, the priest that's highlighted in the Muslim race. And according to the information given, Muhammad, does anyone know how many sons he had? Well, he had Fort. quite a few sons. Fort. I don't know they remember the exact number. Because we're Christian, we don't spend time looking at 
other religion. But when you start to look, you start to see other things. Yes. Now, please note that Abraham is Ishmael's father. Amen. And before Agar left Abraham under instruction, God spoke with her. So the God of Abraham spoke with Agar and yes. said, I'm going to bless your child. And kings will come out of you. And 12 princes came out, according to the verse there. 12, uh, what does it say there? 12 princes came out of Ishmael. Just like out of Sarah, one married woman would come kings and nation. The same thing you apply to Ishmael. Backtrack. When Agar left Abraham and Sarah, she was serving the God of Abraham. Because the God of Abraham spoke with her yes, yes. and instructed her Amen. in what he intended to do. When she left, they dwelt from Abraham unto Shur. That is before Egypt. So they didn't quite go back to Egypt. As Agar was an Egyptian, but she didn't quite go back to Egypt. She dwelt outside, not too far from Egypt in a place called towards Abia, Assyria, and this is in the presence of his brethren. So now, the Syrians is associated now with Ishmael, and out of Ishmael you have the Muslims race. The Muslims race are founded upon the faith of Abraham, and I'm going to come back to certain things that they carry forward. And it's very important. You need, you need to understand this, that when we read to Jephthah, you can find out why Jephthah, who he is and why he did what he did. So I'm asking you to pray for me. Please scroll down. Please scroll down. Right. So he's had Sarah, his wife. She's barren. She gave him Agar. He had Ishmael. She had Ishmael. And then Ishmael had 12 sons, princes, that are Abraham's grandchildren. But listen, there's more to it. Genesis 25 and verse 1. Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. First Chronicles 1, verse 32 to 33. Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, <coughs> she bare Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And the sons of Jokshan, Sheba and Dedan, and the sons of Midian, Ephah, and Ephah, and Henoch, and Abida, and Elder. All these are the sons of Keturah. Genesis 25, verse 5 to 6. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. Bridget, Sarah died. And Abraham is strong. And he took another wife. And when he took another wife, she's called his concubine. Now, what's, who is a concubine? What is a concubine? Because a concubine is not a handmaid or a bondswoman. What is a concubine? Or who is a concubine? A concubine is a second wife, but not on the same level as, a as wife. the first wife. Amen. So in certain cultures, when you see nationalities allow themselves to have two wives, the second wife is called a concubine, and this can be most upsetting for the first wife. Those of you who are married, how would you feel if your husband <laughs> came over and said, I think I'm going to get me a second wife now because... No, How would you feel about it, sisters, if your husband had the right to choose? 
name was Sarah gave Agar to Abraham. Would you give your husband permission to go into your servant? Should not be done. When she realized what she did, she had him throughout. And Abraham gave them bread and water and sent them away into the wilderness of Beersheba. Now, Sarah's died. Abraham now has taken a wife. I'm going to show you the verse, which is also in a few verses, it says that Katira, Abraham, concubine. It says it. Now, the sons of Kira, Katura, Abraham's concubine. Don't say wife, but it means wife, but mean second wife. She bore him at least six, if not seven sons. You can count them up when you've got time. So Abraham has got now 12 grandchildren for Isaac, for Ishmael. And now, He's got another six, seven children, but Victor, for Keturah. Father Abraham has many sons, many sons as Father Abraham. Leave us out of it now. Because Ishmael's grandchildren were one of them, and so was the sons of Keturah, Keturah one of them. Abraham was a very busy man. <laughs> one of Keturah's son is called who? Midian. 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 And the sons of Midians are listed there. And what Abraham did, he found out that the sons of Katira, brother Campbell, were not too happy. There was problems between the sons of Isaac, his son, and the sons of Katira, because they're different mothers. Don't you find children on the whole? When they're from different parents, it can cause many conflicts. And there's so much single parents with children marrying other men or women marrying other women who have children who are not related to them. And it causes many a conflict. So Abraham is going to do what he did to Hagar. He sent Hagar away. Watch Abraham, that people won't tell you the father of faith did. And Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac because the blessing the is on Isaac. So because he done that, now he's got to get rid of the sons of Keturah, which are also his own children. But unto the sons of the cute concubine, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts, not the inheritance, and sent them away. Why did he send them away? He sent them away from Isaac. Not when he died, because if he had died, you know what it is when parents have property. And if they don't write a will, say this is for this one and that's for this one. The children now, if they're greedy, will start warring with each other, fighting each other to get the inheritance. So Abraham says, I'm not going to allow this to happen after I die. So Katira, you need to take your children, who are my sons, and go. And they left and lived eastward unto the east country. Let's go that from these early. Let's get it. Genesis 37. Let's go back to Ishmael and look at certain things that happened now. Remember the two sons, Ishmael and Katira's children. So it's Agar, in you remember her children, and remember Katira's children. They go to two different places. But Ishmael's children and Agar's children, a whole family with Isaac. Read on from the place. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colours that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels bearing spicery and balm and myrrh. 
going to carry it down to Egypt. Joseph came unto his brethren who were from the lineage of Isaac. Jacob, who had his name changed to Israel. Isaac was their father. And because of a dream, yes. his brethren hated him. <laughs> now, if your brothers from the same mother, hate, same father, hate you, then what about those from Ishmael? What about those from Katira? So three women in the life of Abraham, Sarah's wife, Hagar, the hands sort of made and maiden, and Keturah, three sets of kids, three sets. children, and what they're going to do, the man got up and had a dream, and because of the dream, his brethren says, let us take his crow that is upon him and put him in the pit, just because he told the dream. You know, God can bless you mm -hmm. with just a dream. dream. And if you don't stand sharp, your family will hate you because you have a dream. A dream. There's a song I says on the song Silver Tone album, it says, I dreamed I was in heaven one night. And just because you have a dream that when you leave this world, you want to go to heaven, so you come to church to hear the word of God. And because you give yourself over to God, your family despise you because you choose to become a Christian, Sister Devlin, because you have a dream. You're not Martin Luther, but even he had a dream. But you are who you are, Brother Andrew, and you've got a dream. A dream I was in, what a dream to have, that I was in heaven. <laughs> and I just saw heaven open. <laughs> Now, they put him in a pit, and there came a company of Ishmaelites, who are Agar's children, Amen. which means they're Jacob's children, Joseph and his brethren, they're family, they're brethren, not from the same mother, but from the same father, and Joseph's brethren are going to sell him to his cousins. My Lord. Where Christ is concerned in your life, let no man, let no family members take your crown. There is no choice in death. There is no choice in death. We are not here to stay. But you have a right to make your calling and election sure. You have a right to determine where you spend your eternity. Yea, though we walk. I walk. Don't say I that. walk. We only walk him through the valley of the shadow. Today. When it's time for me to go, you ain't coming with me. As an individual. That's why David wrote and said, Yea, though I walk. Hallelujah. One of these days, Brother Victor, we're going to have to walk through the valley, Brother Claude, of the shadow of death. But oh God, your wife may not be with you. Your children may not be with you. Your grandchildren may not be. But here, David said, But thou, Lord, art with me. Make sure when that time comes that Christ is with you and God is with you. Why? Because thy rod and, and thy star, star they come from you. Come from now, Ishmael, mm -hmm. the company of Ishmaelites, Agar's children, were on their way from Gilead to Egypt, mm -hmm. even though she dwelt in the wilderness just outside Egypt. Yes. And they were tra 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 traitors. 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 Yes. And they knew the route through the wilderness to go from one place of the eastern area where yes. they sold spices and did trade. If you've got time in the street, Amen. look at it. Bearing spices and bombs and myrrh going to carry down to Egypt. This was before Moses and Israel went there. Now that's Ishmaelites. Go down from the pieces. Now let's look at the offspring of Katir. Verse 26 to 28. And Judah said unto his brethren, what profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh, and his brethren were content. Then there passed by Midianites, 
merchant men. And they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. Then, as they were contemplating selling Joseph to the Ishmaelites, another set of cousins came along. The children of Katira. <laughs> so here's the children of Jacob meeting the children of Ishmael, meeting the children of Katira. Three sets of children from three different women meeting in one place. Whole family. And family, if you don't stand sharp, you see money. Love of money is the root of all evil, and people will sell you shoes for money. And if you don't stand sharp, your family will love for twenty pieces of silver more than you. Do you know that if you're not making a lot of money, your family not interested in you? Because even in churches, they suppose that gain is godliness. We're not in church to make money. We're in church to hear from the word of God so we can get ourselves ready for the Christian jubilee. When we'll be free from chaos. Free from our God. Free from strife. Oh God. Free from this and that and that and this. Thank you, Jesus. Stop that moment. When this life is over. 20 pieces of silver, quickly. How much did Jesus sell Jesus for? 30. 30. 30. 10, 10, 10 pieces of silver. The Jesus. Go down for you, please. Right, Genesis 17, verse 10. This is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. Romans 4, verse 12. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, mm -hmm. which he had being yet uncircumcised. John 7 verse 22. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And ye, on the Sabbath day, circumcise a man. Right, we're going to take the children of Keturah, Agar, and Sarah back to foundation. And the foundation for these three sets of children is Abraham. And God made a covenant with him and told him, every man child among you shall be circumcised. Yes. Abraham will command his children so he commanded even his servants to be circumcised. And he's the father of circumcision because up until then, nobody even knew what circumcision was. God gave circumcision to Abraham and he's the father of circumcision. Who's the father of all lies? Who, who's the father of all lies? The devil. Who was a, who, who a murderer from the beginning? The devil. So he wasn't just Cain to kill his brother. It was the devil using Cain to kill his brother. Because he was a murderer from, from the, the beginning. beginning. So Abraham is a father of circumcision. And I need you to remember circumcision is going to play another part as we go down further. Circumcision is given to him as a token of that which he had in uncircumcision. So you need to have faith in God before you're baptized. Getting baptized doesn't mean you're saved. You need to be saved 